Thanks for coming back to my channel. Tony Snuff here, meaning I am Tony, and all of this is Snuff. I bring the Snuff reviews to you back home so I can try the Snuff so you don't have to. If they're bad, I'll tell you they're bad. If they're good, I'll tell you they're good. Welcome to the new Saturday edition of Tony Snuff Snuff Review. What we're going to be doing on Saturdays from now on is just a tiny bit different. Um, instead of accessory reviews, that we are going to be doing mixed reviews, meaning I'm going to mix Snuff, show you how to mix them, what they smell like, what combinations are good, and stuff like that. Today uh, we're going to be doing Delacchio Swiss chocolate and Toke peanut butter. I'm trying to get a little bit of a uh, peanut butter cup candy type of smell to it. But first I have the question of the day from uh, Damian Black. He was wondering why Americans drive on the wrong side of the road. Well, Damian, we don't. You do, bitch. Um, no. Uh, most of the countries in the world do drive on the right-hand side of the road. Um, most British controlled countries or that were previously British controlled like um, South Africa and all those other ones um, they drive on the left hand side of the road and their steering wheels are actually on the right hand side of their car versus us whose steering wheels are on the left hand and we drive on the right side of the road so um, most of the countries do it that way um, the way that Americans do it some countries don't there's no really right or wrong way to it. Um, I consider it the wrong way to drive as the UK does, just because I'm not used to it. But, <laughs> whatever. I um, hope you guys like the music. I'm going to try and incorporate it within my next videos, either me just setting up the table uh, while it's playing for you guys, or I will be putting it with clips of past reviews and stuff like that. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Leave me a comment below and let me know which, uh, which I should be doing. So um, I actually did the uh, the song this morning on the drum set back here and um, recorded it with my laptop and then wrote the lyrics to it real quick uh, so they're not the best lyrics ever. But um, yeah, it's, it's something else I wanted to add into the channels, just make them a little more, more viewable for you guys. So yeah, so what we're going to be doing again today is trying to go for a peanut butter cup type candy. Let me empty out my, uh, my piss in the mortar real quick. Now, I'll tell you right now, you don't need a piston and mortar to do this. You can use anything, um, any kind of little bottle that you want to do in a snuff spoon. You could just mix it around on the table. I like the brick, or I like the piston and mortar because it grinds them together. It gives it a little bit more of a finer grind, not really noticeable, um, unless you go at it for about an hour or so, and then it'll be super fine grind, like, you know, like some of the uh, the Indian snuffs or the super fine grind snuffs. Um, so. I'll just jump right into it. You're going to need the Toke peanut butter, is how I do it, and the Delacchio Swiss chocolate. Um, you could probably do it with the WOW caramel, but um, I'm not doing that today. Now, Toke peanut butter is a little bit stronger of a smell with the snuff than the Delacchio Swiss chocolate, so you're going to have to do a 2 to 1 ratio, 2 of Swiss chocolate to 1 scoop of peanut butter. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to do 4, four to 2 just so I could get enough to actually show you guys in the piston and mortar and all that other good stuff and actually review it for you guys. So there's four, one, and two of the peanut butter as I spill it all over my table. Clean, do a little quick clean up so I don't get it everywhere while I'm doing this review. Sorry guys for the, uh, the bullshit in this video. All right. <clears throat> Let me put the top on this so I don't mess it up anymore. <clears throat> All right, so I got the four of the Swiss chocolate and the two of the cooked peanut butter. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, grind this together real quick. Okay, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-
Let's uh, get to reviewing this bastard, shall we? <sighs> All right. That actually smells like you just opened up a package of the peanut butter filled candies. Um, it really does. If you have Reese's peanut butter cups or have ever had them and you open up the package and you get that peanut buttery chocolate smell, that's exactly what you have in this uh, in this snuff. Um, you probably could add like a half a scoop of peanut butter uh, to it just to get more of a peanut buttery scent to it. But um, it's actually very, very good. And what I've found is that after um, about two or three minutes, the peanut butter smell kind of fades, and then you're left with the uh, just the chocolate scent to it, which is really good. Um, you get a decent little nicotine buzz off of it, and I haven't really gotten any kind of a drip yet, but I'm going to make one. Making a back drip, just kind of smelling it up and swallowing, just so I can review a back drip of it for you guys. The back drip isn't bad at all. Um, it actually goes away almost instantly, and it tastes just like... You swallowed a uh, a peanut butter filled candy or a Reese's peanut butter cup. Trademark. So um guys, I hope you like this little quick installment of the Saturday reviews. I'm trying to get them all get all the kinks worked out for Saturdays for you guys. Um, I'm slowly working on the intro to the videos so you don't have to just watch me set the table up um, with the song and everything. I did it all this morning, so I hope you guys like it. I can't really judge myself to see if it's good or not. So leave me a, a comment and let me know. So guys, thanks guys, thanks again for watching the quick how-to video to make a Reese's peanut butter snuff. Um, make sure you like and subscribe down here next to my boobies for some more recipes and how-tos and snuff reviews coming at you every Tuesday and Thursday. And leave me a comment, let me know anything or any questions you want to ask me. Thanks guys for watching again. I am Tony Smuff, Snuff, Tony Smuff. I am Tony Snuff, and I will see you guys back on Tuesday. I hope your Saturday lasts forever and Tuesday never comes. Because that means you have to work. So guys, thanks for watching and y'all have a great Saturday. <laughs> it went Tony Snuff!